<laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. We are not a certified BMW service center, that's for sure. You're not gonna find a dipstick under this hood. The only dipstick out here is me. Right, babe? Yeah. This is why I don't trust any vehicle in a dealership ever. Right here, because they do sh work. All right, welcome back party people. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So we're in the garage and we're gonna have to change the oil on G Money's uh, BMW X1. All right, so this is a uh, 2017 BMW X1. The model designation is F48. Pull it twice so it'll unlatch. Now you, you gotta pull it again. There we go. All right, let's see what we got under the hood here. <sighs> focus, 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 focus. 2017, 0W20. We've got the oil filter, PS7039 K&N. So this is one of these canisters type filters, which seems to be popular in these later model cars. So, all right, let's see if we can make some room here. All right, so here's what we have inside here. We have this thing. And we have a filter. o-ring and it looks like a crush washer for the oil plug so this is what you get in the kit ps 7039 2017 bmw x1 x drive 28 so it's a two liter four cylinder twin turbo <laughs> well i can tell you one thing we are not a certified bmw service center that's for sure all right here's what we're looking at under the hood here so that's where you add your oil you're not going to find a dipstick under this hood the only dipstick out here is me Right, babe? Yeah. All right, let's get this bad baby up on some ramps because definitely no way I'm gonna be able to squeeze my big butt up under there, so let's do it. Good? Yeah. Let's put some chocks behind the wheels so we don't uh, back off by accident. Let's go up under there and see what we're working with here. All right, so let's see what's in these access ports here. So we're just going to twist these and all right so there's our drain plug and guess what drain plugs leaking look at that what happened oil drain plugs leaking so this is what you get when you get uh -oh. when you get something from a dealer right there already look at that let me see the camera oh my goodness so we just bought this car we bought this car from the from the dealership what no, was a jaguar no. dealership yeah and it's the uh, first time we've ever been under here. And looky here, we got a leaking oil plug. This is why I don't trust any vehicle in a dealership ever, right here, because they do sh work. So that's our oil plug. <sighs> right here. You can see that. So I'm not sure who changed the oil last time, but there we go. It's leaking. Actually, the compartment closest to the rear of the car, and it just works by accessing it from this door, and it's got these little uh, little sliders there that trap the door. You could put a screwdriver in there, but it looks like you can use your your fingers to do it just as easy. So that's the most. F so under this door, I expect we'll find access to the oil filter. So we're just gonna slide these discs over, get access here. All right, so there's your oil filter canister. And we've got to take that, uh, that nut off on the bottom there, which I think is gonna require, there's not a lot of room in here to work. You can see that beam in the way. So we're gonna have to find a socket to remove the canister cap there. And I think I've got that. I think that's a 32 millimeter shallow socket, if I did my research correctly. So this is the most forward uh, compartment here. All right, I've got this uh, very shallow 32 millimeter socket here that's supposed to work on getting the oil filter canister top off. And then I've got an assortment of uh, metrics here I'm gonna try for the oil plug. So we're gonna get up under there and uh, see if we can drain into our pan. So I'm going to loosen up and remove the oil lid here so we can get some airflow through there so the oil will drain properly. Eventually we will. All right. Let's see what size this baby is. 
So let's try 17. 17 millimeter it is. All right, 17 millimeter socket for the old drain plug. All right, so we loosen the oil plug up. Get everything out of the way. Get our oil plug and ready here. Not much of a mess. There we go. So there's our drain plug, a 17 millimeter. Make sure you get the washer off with it. You get a new washer in the kit when you buy the oil filter actually. So and we're gonna let this drain. And uh, once it gets down to a dribble, we're gonna go in here and remove the oil filter canister. All right, so one trick you can do is to uh, use this panel where the oil filter canister is to kind of trap the panel from the oil drain. That way you don't get oil draining all in the, uh, this undercover here. But there's a new uh, oil plug washer. We're gonna take that out and it's gonna put the plug back in real quick so we can go into our oil canister. I'm just gonna hand tighten it for now. All right, so yeah, that's perfect right there. So let's see if we can get this out. You're gonna need a, I might need an extension here. Yep, I'm gonna definitely, let's see. All right, let's see if I can get this on here without too much glare. All right, so there's the inside of the canister. You can see up in there. All right, so um, this is what I ended up using. It's a 32 millimeter shallow socket and uh, three inch extension and then a uh, another inch and a half extension there with the uh, with the knuckle in it so you can move it around. You probably don't need all of those, but that just seemed to make it the easiest to get that off. And I'll show you what we got off here. That's the, the socket. That's the 32 millimeter there. And there's your oil filter. We just have to pull that off. And then there's an O-ring around the threads there that we have to replace as well, I think. Yep. So we need to pay particular attention where that's at. And uh, we'll try to get a new filter back in. See the flat spot there? This spot right here? That's where your O-ring goes. It's the widest, it's not part of the threads and it's not all the way to the bottom, it's that, that one section right below. So I'm gonna pull the old O-ring off, set that there, and then see the top there? It's basically, it just pops in. You just pull on it, it comes off, and it just clips in the bottom there. All right, let's put the old, the new one in. So first of all, we're gonna grab it and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, some oil in here. So I'm gonna clip it in first, and then we'll pull some pour some oil in there. We'll just slide our new O-ring on. And get it into that uh, indent right there. It was right there where that wide cutout is. All right, we got it started. Right there. All right, so now I just need to torque the drain plug down. We'll put some oil in it and we'll leave this cover off. Make sure we're not leaking around our oil canister or the drain plug once we start it up. On a win. We put a little bit in the oil filter. This is five quarts. So we're just gonna put five quarts in and then we'll uh, turn it on, make sure everything's running fine. All right. All right, I'm gonna have G Money back the car off of the uh, ramp so we can get a good oil measurement reading. And then I'll just peek up under there after we start it up, make sure there's nothing leaking. And once we get that all verified, we'll go in there and uh, reset the oil change indicator. So the one thing I didn't do is when we took the oil filter canister out, there's a little plug in the end there. You saw me replace with a new one. That's to actually drain the oil out of the filters so you make less of a mess. Um, yeah, I didn't do that. I just took the whole filter out with the canister. But uh, either way, it uh, works. Um, but if you want to try to 
keep the oil spillage to a minimum. Just take the plug out of the canister first, let it drain, and then use the 32 millimeter socket to remove the whole canister. switch it off and I'll go out and just kind of look for some leaks. What's in there? All right, so uh, we battened up the hatches down there. We've got all, we verified the oil was not leaking around the canister or the drain plug. So now we just got to reset the oil service indicator. So I'm just going to jump inside and fiddle through these menus and see if I can figure out how to reset the indicator if you're curious about some of the uh the torque specs there's your uh your oil drain plug uh tightening torque 25 newton meters and there's the oil filter canister cover so everything 25 newton meters to shut the oil light you need to push the start button without pressing the pedal hold the trip odometer 10 seconds Three more seconds. Reset. Three more seconds. Reset in progress. Reset successful. There we go. Hmm. Reset impossible. Alright. I'm gonna get back in here. Now that we reset it. Service required. All right, there we go. So we got okay, okay, okay now. So we're all reset. All right, we're good. We're ready to close this one out. I did throw some jack stands up under there too on those ramps just in case they uh, gave out on me. So don't let the safety police get me. Uh, so yeah, that's how you uh, change the oil on your F48 engine, BMW X1 2017, two liter twin turbo four cylinder. Not too bad, but you do need uh, to be able to get to that oil filter canister with that, uh, that socket. So, all right, that'll do it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Even if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Just let me know in the comments. Have you changed the oil on one of these? And if there's anything special that you had to do in order to get the oil change done. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And until next time, you know what to do. Skill up and ride, van up and go. Do a little DIY.